Early December and hospitals nationwide are once again at full capacity with a trifecta of illness, COVID, the RSV virus, and a flu season that started six weeks early. Flu hospitalizations now running at a decade high with 79% of hospital beds occupied. We need people to be sure to stay home when you're sick. Nationwide, at least 4,500 flu deaths just since October 1st. Why the surge? Infectious disease experts say after several years of pandemic isolation, most Americans are back at school, work, gathering indoors with others and traveling. Some exposed to viruses for the first time in two plus years. Our immune systems are just fine. They were ready and waiting. They just hadn't been exposed to the virus. This has been an exposure deficit. So much flu, some pharmacies are running low on flu medication. This is Jeremiah. Um, this is my rainbow baby. <laughs> In Kansas City, Bailey Keel is still mourning the seven-week-old daughter she lost last year to RSV. Last week, her newborn Jeremiah was admitted to the hospital after he too got sick. I had nothing but anxiety. I didn't know if you know I was going to be having lose another child or if I was going to be able to keep him with me. So it was absolutely scary. Tonight, the CDC and frontline doctors are urging both adults and children to quickly get a flu vaccine and a COVID booster. And Tom, the CDC said flu vaccination rates among adults are running at half the levels of pre-pandemic. Any idea why? Yeah, health experts believe that there's vaccine fatigue at play here. People are tired after getting so many COVID shots, now the flu season, and yet the flu also kills. And the CDC is again suggesting wear a mask to protect against all respiratory illnesses, especially if you're traveling or if you are immunocompromised. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.